Hello, this is Grinstar, and I am going to talk about Episode 5. Uh, I heard it's being discontinued um, all over the, the news. Uh, basically, Native Instruments, the, the maker of, of Absinthe, uh, decided to not support it after uh, Complete 14. Um, I own Complete 13, so it's, it's in there. Uh, this is actually a pretty cool synth. Um, I can probably understand why they're probably discontinuing it. I heard the developer uh, quit and moved on. Um, and this is kind of an advanced little synth. I think it's great for pads and stuff like that. It gives some really, really wild sounds. Um, let me play with a couple of presets. <laughs> As you can see, this is the, the preset browser. It's I got uh, four different packs, I guess, of presets. We got the Absinthe 5 presets. We got the Interstellar. And they all have uh, different filters that you can do uh, to, to further, uh, like for pads, leads, piano keys. Uh... It's got a mutate here, and mutate is actually pretty cool because what it'll do is it'll change around the settings and give you a different sound. So now it has like a, there's a dark, a darker tone or a bell. This one's lighter. If you can, you can set that amount, random amount, and then that amount it mutates. Pretty cool for making pads and, and different sounds that you're not expecting. Hitting the button again. And this is this is all just off of one setting. That it's uh, being able to change the sound so much. And if I'm not mistaken, in the other types of uh, things we have... Um, Various different things of how it actually arrives to that sound. This thing has a pretty serious uh, uh, UI. So we have waveforms in here that have uh, that can do different things. You got spectrum, you can mess with the spectrum a bit. Um, if I'm sniffling, it's I gotta uh, weather's changed here, so I'm I'm kind of gotta the ish with the nose thing. And you got these modulations. It looks like you got the oscillators up here. Uh, filters and then um, modul uh, modulation so you can modulate it. And then main filter. Main wave shape. I am not by far not an expert in this. Uh, this this instrument, or uh, even even played with it more than just the presets. It's it it has a ton of presets. I never wanted out of the presets more than than grabbing a preset and hitting mutate, uh, and then going, oh that's cool, let me use it. So basically, now that I'm actually using it, I actually get a chance to play around with the different things that make the noise and be able to. You know, craft the noise or whatever, but regardless of that, it, it, it's got a ton of uh, 
presets. You could spend probably hours playing with these. That one's accidentally really cool. Got a lot of different movement, a lot of different sound elements. That's pretty cool. As you can see, this one has a sample and followed for oscillator B and C are two granulars. That's pretty an awesome pad though. Cruising through these presets. This one's a uh, yeah, long a uh, long attack. Super long attack. That's using two granulars and the FM synthesis, and then like super long attack. Nice panning on that one.
Oh, that's cool. Nice and quiet, smooth, mellow. Let me mutate it, see what happens. See the the stuff on here changes when you hit mutate, so that it's just adding. But it's kind of like adding a chaos variable to something. Sometimes sometimes it doesn't work, or it has a long attack. Yeah, that one's gone. So we just go to the browser, pick up another one. Overall, not bad. Uh, kind of sad to see it go that it didn't get developed further than what it should have. Uh, it, it's great for some kind of unique sounding things. Um, probably things have replaced it. Uh, uh, Aturia products probably could replace it, I guess. Um, and it, it has some some interesting stuff. Uh, the the patch mutation is is kind of kind of really interesting, where it, it adds randomness to the the patch so let me get get the patch and then mutate it change these two parameters as we can see and change the sound uh, basically it says M1 here and we mutate it again changes it again nice spaceship type UFO type sounding. Or planetary ex uh, ex exploration type soundtrack. That was not bad. It needs to be pumped up a bit. I don't light on the sound, but either way, uh, this is this is a wild synth to sit here and spend hours playing around trying to create sounds and then and then using the sounds uh, for a track. Uh, uh, At any rate, hope you liked it. Um, hope this uh, at least if you haven't heard of it, kind of piqued your interest. Kind of said it. I it's sad to see it going, but uh, um, thankfully I own it. <laughs> All right. Uh, I will catch you later, and bye-bye.